Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. We are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these MLB videos every single day, along with the NFL, College Football, NBA, and NHL when those are back on. We're going to have huge winning years in those. We're after our first 15,000 subscribers, so I'm excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's uh, yesterday's video, 3-0, baby. Easy dubs, basically everywhere except for the first game. Padres, money line, plus 114. What a fucking comeback. Absolutely unbelievable. We'll take the dub every single time, especially if we're getting plus money on that. Mariners, money line. I, I got a little nervous when Devers hit that homer, make it 3-1 to one early. And then the 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 avalanche happened. We would love to see it with the Mariners. And with the over right now, Colorado and Los Angeles. That one, I mean, I think that hit like the third or fourth inning. Uh, easy dub. Never a doubt. Horrible pitching all the way around. So 3-0 no sweep yesterday. Absolutely love to see it. And we have three more plays for you guys on the video here today. I also, I'm also probably going to be adding some plays. I'll be posting those um, in the pinned comment below when I do, along with my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. And we also have two members-only best bets after another winning members-only day yesterday, by the way. And if we've made you money and you want to support the channel, you want to profit even more, become a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all our members-only plays every single day, which was profitable best bets on a day-to-day -day basis. On top, they do have a direct line of me. So any game you're considering betting, reach out to our highlight number, get a guaranteed response back by any game you're considering betting. And you get all of our free picks to on YouTube, text you, text you before these videos come out. Then take advantage of really lines or the odds. Go to the website, zdmbest.com slash picks, zdmbest.com slash picks, zdmbest.com slash picks. So let's jump into the plays that we have today. I'm going to get started with our first play, which is going to be the Orioles minus one and a half versus the Blue Jays um, today. First things first, we got to look at the pitching. The Blue Jays are running out a bullpen game today. Um, not great because their bullpen is the second worst bullpen in the league. Of, of, of a staff ERA of five. Terrible. And Espino, who's going to start the game, is a 7-7-1 ERA. Rodriguez for the uh, Orioles has been, I would just say he's been a little... He's been a little starstruck. He has had hard times against good teams. That's essentially what the issue has been. And the Blue Jays are not like the Yankees or the Astros or something like that. You can say the Astros have a good record, but, you know, for the last six, seven years, they've been great. Um, the Blue Jays are an underperforming team. And the Rodriguez has played really, really well against underperforming teams this year. And the Orioles are going to be very engaged. So they got to right the ship, which they are right now. The Orioles lineup is substantially, and I mean substantially better than what the Blue Jays have. Uh, the Blue Jays lineup is a bunch of guys that are like their names seem very, very talented, but the production doesn't even remotely come close to it. And the Orioles have a legit MVP candidate in Gunnar Henderson, all stars up and down the lineup. Give me the Orioles minus one and a half versus the Blue Jays. You get this like minus 110, minus 115. Um, on a sports book. Next, we're going with the Rays, minus one and a half versus the Marlins, a little plus money here. First off, it's the battle of the sellers. Um, both these teams sold at the deadline, um, as by the way, they probably should. I mean, that was a smart move. Um, disappointing for their fans, obviously, not really for the Marlins, but for the Rays, I'm sure they're disappointed after last year, but it was the right, it was the right move. Um, when you look at this Rays team, minus one half versus the Marlins, um, first off, Bradley versus Munoz. Munoz for the Miami has been terrible this year. It's a 5-6-1 ERA. The league average, by the way, is like four. So pretty, pretty bad. While Taj Bradley last year was total shit. He was terrible. Um, I made a lot of money last year betting against Taj Bradley. But but this year, he's been unbelievable. He's a 2-4-3 ERA. The Rays seem to play their best when he is when he's pitching. And the bullpen's here about equal. Now, they're, they're not bad, but they're not like great either. And but even after losing guys, the Rays lineup is still better than the Marlins. They have good guys like Yandy Diaz. They I was about to say they have Isaac Paredes, but they don't. Um, but even so, like for me, the Rays just have uh, the Rays are a <clears throat> bad MLB team, <clears throat> but the Marlins are an average AAA team, and that's really the biggest difference here. Plus, the Rays are at home; they play way better at home than they do on the road. Give me the Rays minus one and a half versus the Marlins here today, and then we're gonna go with the over eight and a half. <clears throat> in Colorado and Los Angeles, the Angels in particular. I don't like running plays back. I don't like doing it. But based on the pitching today, I'm going to have to. Uh, Freeland for Colorado is a 6-2-3 ERA. Daniel for Los Angeles has a 5-8-2 ERA. Both absolutely terrible. Both bullpens are terrible. Colorado's is the worst in the league with a 5-5-9 ERA. LA, Los Angeles is sixth worst. They got a little bit better yesterday. They were fifth worst yesterday. They're sixth worst. Uh, but a 4-3-4 ERA. And as we saw yesterday, 
both these offenses have more pop than we give them credit for. I mean, they've got some MLB players that can hit the shit out of the ball. And especially if you're going against especially if you're going against pitchers that basically throw beach balls out there, they're going to be able to hit. And then the Angels are, are a bit of a hitter's part because of the short porch in the left field. I really like the over eight and a half again today. The sharp money's on the over eight and a half. So I'm rolling the over eight and a half, Colorado and Los Angeles. Now, just like I said, guys, I will be adding more plays today, more than likely. Like there's like a 90% chance I'm going to do that. Um, I'll be posting those in the pinned comment below and on my Twitter. My Twitter's linked in the description below. Um, but guys, um, let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow.